guys, it's me from Tamim Tech here, back again another video for you guys. Right now I have the Blue Yeti microphone and we are talking about this microphone today because it is the number one USB microphone and I'm going to tell you why in this video after the intro. Blue Yeti microphone. I go way back with this microphone because back in the day it was my first microphone that I used to record my music with and it had supreme audio quality. I went from using the internal laptop mic to microphones on your headsets to this guy. My audio quality changed completely along with some audio mixing. You really get some good quality sound. You can use this for Twitch, live streams, podcasts, recording music, YouTube videos like this right here. Um, you can do it for a number of things that you want to do when it comes to audio recording. The only downside is obviously you can't connect it to your camera and on the go. That's what I use my Rode microphone for, which is about only 60 bucks. And this is $120, $130. I think it's 120 And sometimes it's on sale for 100 and you can find it on eBay for cheaper. But I'm going to talk about the features of this microphone. It is a condenser mic, which is a really good microphone when it comes to just recording stuff like this. Gives you really good feedback, good signals, good everything. I'm not a professional expert into the uh, technicalities of these things, but I can tell you what it does and what it does great and what it doesn't do great, which is pretty much nothing because it's a really great microphone. So let's get into the different things that you can do with this microphone. There's different features and I'll show you some things that you can do now with we it. We are in cardio mode. I don't know if you can see it down there, but where this little arrow is, is called cardioid mode, which picks up audio from the front of the microphone. So it picks up the direction from here, and that's where the audio is coming from. Uh, the other side of this, when you turn it, the very last one is bi-directional. So the audio will come from the front and it will come from the back right here. So right here, ignore that Facebook message. That's the microphone picking up all the audio once again. So, after that bi-directional part, we have omnidirectional, which picks up audio from all directions, left, right, front, and back. It's really good if you want to record with a live band and you want to pick up audio from every direction. Cardio, obviously, when you're talking into the microphone like this. Bi-directional, if you're doing a duet, you have someone in the back, someone in the front. You're both recording something at the same time. And then the last one is stereo mode. I think I already have you all the way on stereo mode. This was omnidirectional. The last one here was stereo. So this is stereo mode, once again, since I already had it on here. This is good for left and right channels. You know, the left and right stereo mode picks up sound quality from that area, and that's the focus. But I'm gonna change it right back to cardioid, because it only picks up sound from the front, and that's how I want it to be. Up here, we have the gain. So once you turn up the gain, once you turn up the gain, it gets louder, and now I'm clipping. So I'm going to turn it all the way down. Now I'm not clipping, and it's a little quieter. When I turn the volume knob, turn it around over here. When you turn the volume knob, it turns up the gain. Turn it down. I went mute for a little bit. So that's that with that feature over there. All right, a little video error there. So. Um, let's see, what was I talking about? You have the mute button in the front. Once the mute button flashes, clearly no audio was present there. So that's one thing about the microphone. You have these different features you could use. You can take the microphone off of this, these screws and this mount that it's on and place it on a mic stand and a shock mount. So that way you're not getting, picking up audio from the desk over there. So that's one thing you can do with this microphone is take it off get it hanging on something, get that professional studio look if that's how you want to do it, or streaming type setup for yourself. That's one thing you can do with this microphone. It's really great. Uh, right now I'm recording this with my A6400. So I got the microphone connected to my desktop to power it, and I got the audio cord connected to the camera so it can pick up the audio. I'll show you how you can connect this to your iPad because 
obviously to plug it into the desktop it's just usb bada bing bada boom you're done simple as that this is a like i said it's a great microphone you can do it for a lot of things use it for a lot of things and i highly recommend it so let me show you how you connect it to your ipad all right so i have the anchor usb c hub over here it has two usb a ports here it has a micro SD card slot there, a SD card slot over there, and an HDMI slot. It's USB-C, so obviously it goes into the iPad, like so. That's that. So now I'm going to disconnect the audio from my microphone, from my desktop, so it's going to cut out right now. And now I have it connected to my iPad and clearly you can see audio is now being received again. So that's one way you can connect the Blue Yeti microphone to your iPad or any other accessory that doesn't have a USB-C or yeah, if it doesn't have a USB-A port, you plug in a little hub like that and then you just can just connect it to your device. If it doesn't have USB-A or whatever, just get a hub and it gets powered up that way and that's that. I thought at first I would have issues saying that the device wouldn't have enough power to supply the microphone with its needed energy to get it to working, but it works just fine. So that's one way you can use the Blue Yeti on your iPad. And that's really wrapping it up for the video. I mean, you guys saw the design. It's black. It's metal. It feels good, I guess, in the hands, but it's not a cell phone. <laughs> so, I mean, the Blue Yeti microphone, I highly recommend it. It's great for podcast streaming. And like I said earlier in the video, I'm repeating myself because there's not much more I could say about it. It's a great microphone. You can hear the quality coming from it right now. So if this is in your area of budget, go ahead and cop this. I'll leave an affiliate link below. That link helps support the channel grow. It helps supply me with commission that i need to help buy the stuff that i review for you guys so you can decide if it's a right purchase for you so if you like what you saw in this video hit that like button subscribe and tune in next time for my next video thanks for watching take care be safe